Today in History, February 18th. On February 18, 1294, Kublai Khan dies in present-day Beijing at the age of 79 after suffering from obesity and gout. The founder of the Yuan Dynasty and the grandson of Genghis Khan, Khan was the first Mongol to rule over all of China, but the deaths of his wife and oldest son, as well as failed attempts to conquer Japan, Burma, and Java weighed on Khan at the end of his life, and he withdrew from his administrative duties before his death. 222 years later on the same day, Queen Mary I is born at Greenwich Palace in London, England. The eldest daughter of King Henry VIII and Catherine of Aragon, which was his first wife. Mary became England's unlikely queen following the death of her younger half-brother, Edward VI in 1553. A devout Catholic, Mary worked to undo many of her father's religious reforms that moved England away from the church, and she had hundreds of Protestants burned as heretics before her death in 1558 earning her the nickname Bloody Mary. On February 18, 1878, the Lincoln County War breaks out in New Mexico. This bloody clash began after Rancher John Tunstall was shot and killed by a sheriff's posse loyal to a rival rancher named J.J. Dolan. The war continued off and on into the 1880s in a series of revenge killings. Most famously, the war made an outlaw out of one of Huntsville's loyal ranch hands, William Bonney, better known as Billy the Kid. Fifty-four years later, in 1932, Manchukuo is established by Imperial Japan in present-day China. Though ostensibly led by Puye, the last Chang Emperor of China, Manchukuo was in fact a puppet state of Japan which prized the area for its natural resources. Ultimately, after committing a series of atrocities there, Japan lost control of the territory after the Soviet invasion of Manchuria in August of 1945, at the close of World War II. Seventeen years later, Gary Ridgway is born in Salt Lake City, Utah. A serial killer known as the Green River Killer, Ridgway was convicted of murdering 49 women and girls between roughly 1982 and 1998 in Washington State although he admitted to having 71 victims. On February 18, 1973, Frank Costello dies of a heart attack in New York City at the age of 82. The boss of the Luciano crime family, Costello manages underworld empire by making strategic alliances with fellow mobsters as well as government officials. Thanks for watching. Hit follow.